I've got an awesome pattern and IKEA doesn't have one. Hi, I'm Martin. This is Not Enough Seconds. Today I'm here with you, you to present a awesome button. I've talked about a Mi Home buttons previously. Uh, and this time I kind of figured so I'm gonna do something that is very, very useful to me. And hopefully in the process it is very, very useful to you. And I hope you're gonna be ready because we're gonna be using a Mi Home button uh, with a Mi Home Hub. A bit of a node red magic into the process to turn this into a very special magic button. So, uh, I have to invite you to my bedroom. But don't worry, you can keep your clothes on. Welcome to my bedroom! Well, it's slightly dark in here, even you can tell it's bright outside. So come on, let's make uh, some light for the purpose of this video. And I know it's not a big deal, I've used the button to turn the light on. That's, no. Well, standard if you consider this a standard by now but there's a couple of cool tricks i can do with this button as well so first of all it's nice in here but i just want to cuddle you and the light is just so boring let's change this sorry oh that's much better such a cuddly atmosphere and then i can focus on being all romantic with you but not so much romance because uh, we're going back to sleep right now I can pick the light I want to turn on with the single button. I'm still operating this with a single button, so uh, let's turn this one on, maybe. Or if I'm bored and I just want to go back to the main one. But there is one thing I forgot. I'm almost ready to go to sleep, but I forgot to turn off my computers and light in the office. I guess I'll have to just go back to the office and turn it off myself, right? No, I don't. If I'm going to hold this button for about 6 seconds, I can choose how much longer, but 6 seconds is something ideal for me. It turns everything around the house, so it handles my lights, it handles my computers, uh, and the lights in here as well, so um, you don't believe me. Well, I'll take it to office then. I can't believe you actually are making me doing this. And let's go to sleep. And how cool was that? Well, if you're interested in how it works, then uh, I guess I can open Node-RED and show you around. So uh, let's dive to Node-RED and uh, let's get started. So here's the flow uh, for this behavior. Obviously, we're starting with Show Me Hub node, which is going to intercept all the buttons. And I've used the button node in here. Uh, you should really watch the both tutorials about uh, Xiaomi Hub in Node-RED and the uh, button switches in Node-RED as well, because that will explain a couple of things in details while I'm doing it. Uh, basically, the button uh, can issue a couple of things, and this is a click, this is your double click, and it's a long click as well, which is calculated from a press time to a release time. And that's something I've done. Basically, I've assigned the uh, press and the release times uh, to calculate how many seconds it takes to uh, release and then basically if that's number of seconds in my case it's bigger than six seconds we're going to go ahead with this and turn everything off and by everything off for the sake of this example i only have my bench light which is connected to a hacked um, diy um, smart socket and I'm sending two auto reboot messages uh, to mm, my computers. And uh, how it works basically, the auto remote, I've got tutorial about this as well. If you go to Event Ghost, I received a message uh, about the going to sleep. So when that message is received, in this case it's PC sleep, I just uh, basically use a small command, wait five seconds and force the PC to sleep and that's used auto remote you have to use the auto remote plugin uh, if you go to the uh, article it's everything there is linked for you now as for the bulb controls it's very simple uh, now when I click once I control one of the bulbs when I click double times I control the other ones and what happened is I store all the 
statuses of the bulb, so the state, colors, etc. as the global variables. Those global variables are updated here, so each time I receive any notification from Xiaomi Gateway, which happens every like couple of seconds, I have updated global variables to reflect what states the lights are on. This way, when I press the button, uh, the toggle checks what state is the current bulb on, so if it's on, it'll turn it off, if it's off, it'll turn it on, etc. and changes just that. I do not change anything else, so if you set your bulbs to be yellow or red, etc., it will maintain the current status. What I've done also, each time I press this issue or double press this issue, I'm going to send the message to turn the opposite bulb on, so at no point I have two light bulbs on. It's either one or the other, this is completely optional, uh, uh, but I found out that I hardly have both lights on, so why not to automate it as well and save myself some clicking. If you want to have uh, independent control over each light, you can just remove those two nodes and have it so. Now, lastly, when I press the button for six seconds, uh, I also turn off the, um, the lights in a bedroom as well, uh, because I want to do it with a single action, and it's just a simple payload to turn it off. And that payload is repeated to so all the lights. You can add as many different devices as you want, as long as they're gonna be issued from here, they're gonna respond from uh, they're going to respond uh, when the button has been pressed for six seconds. So all the lights you've got in your node red devi devices or all the devices you have, just link them to that node and there you go, you'll be able to control it all. So right guys, are you impressed? No? It's a single button, so many different things you can do with a single button and I have two. And uh, obviously um, you can program all those actions in whatever way you want to. Uh, links to all the stuff I've used are in the descriptions if you're interested in buying these then just go ahead and use my links I guess we'll keep back anyway you know how the YouTube works you know how the thumbs ups are good thumbs downs not so good but anyway uh, I'll let me basically judge how am I doing and if you enjoy a direction or the content uh, if you want to have a updates uh, about the channel and everything and be up to date with what I'm doing then obviously follow me on social media there's some smaller videos and like testing test videos on Instagram so I'd strongly encourage you to hit that Instagram on not enough tech as well and as usual I'm gonna see you in the next video take care bye